Texas style foil boat ribs on the Ugly Drum Smoker today on Brisket Medic. May I help you, sir? How much for order a rib? Ribs are something that I don't really make a whole lot of, and every time I make them, I go, why on earth am I not doing this more often? I can do them sweet, I can do them hot, I can do them traditionally, and today that's what we're gonna be doing on our Ugly Drum Smoker with some hickory chunks and using the foil boat method. The unique technique of foil boating something has really been made known through the internet by Chud's Barbecue, Bradley Robinson himself. And I think we can all owe him a bit of gratitude because it works so, so well. Now, I think this cook is gonna take us just over three and a half hours uh, because I've cooked so many ribs on this ugly drum smoker before. Our goal temperature is gonna be right around 300 degrees. So let's go ahead and get started. start off our trim with something pretty simple just taking off things that are loose the end here come one bone over and then we'll move on to taking off the skirt right above the bones and everything that's loose uh, a little bit of fat on the back side and really just anything that's thin if it's thin it's gonna burn that fat that's over the bones it's gonna cause us issues so we're gonna get that trimmed off. If you wanna see a better trimming video, I have a couple of rib trimming videos in my lineup. For flavor, we're gonna keep it really simple with just a mustard binder. Go ahead and stick that on both sides, get it flipped over, and we're gonna be seasoning this side first. And all we're gonna be using is salt and pepper, keeping it pretty traditional. All right, folks, we're right at an hour and a half in, and uh, let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look and see how the ribs are doing. They look absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Subway Drum Smoker does a big up job for ribs in general. That uh, pepper looks amazing sitting there on top of those ribs. Salt is really soaked in, a lot of moisture on the top of them. Uh, that's really important with this ugly drum smoker because uh, the heat that rises up past these ribs gets a little bit of back pressure back down on them from the lid, and uh, that back heat uh, really helps press these over. They do a great job on building a bar. Let's go ahead and get this lid back on here and let these keep cooking.
just about 45 minutes later. Let's go ahead and pop this up and see how our bark is forming on these ribs. I bet it's gonna look absolutely amazing. What can I say? That black pepper always does something spectacular with the bark on a rib. Feels like it's nice and set. Nothing came off on my fingers. So uh, that little mop sauce that we made up, uh, kind of a Central Texas style mop sauce. I'm gonna start going on it now. Now I'm not actually gonna use the brush to brush it. I'm just gonna dab across it. gonna be really nice. We're gonna get these uh, mopped up and then we're gonna toss the lid back on it. Come back and check it in about an hour. Guys, it's been about another 45 minutes and I think these bad boys are ready to go ahead and get placed into our foil boat. So we're gonna go ahead and get them off the smoker and get them thrown into the foil. You can really smell the pepper on these things. <laughs> they look fantastic, they smell fantastic. We're just getting this foil folded up around them so it protects the sides but also kind of seals off that bottom um, to allow that to steam a little bit. And we'll throw some mop on this as well uh, just to try to get some of that steam um, up in there to tenderize everything. And these are going to turn out so, so good. So let me get these built and I'll meet you back over at the smoker. So you can see we've kind of dammed up everything, keeping these edges from getting too hot from the air movement around it. What really burns things is air movement and heat. And so that air is it's shooting around those edges, gonna finish those edges faster than all of this. So that's kind of the point of this. So we'll get these uh, nice and mopped down real fast uh, with our mop that we've been keeping warm on top of the smoker. And that's gonna allow some extra moisture on top for the smoke to stick to, kind of like what a spritz does, but add some of that flavor from the apple cider vinegar and the butter and the onion and all the good stuff that we added in there. But also the extra that runs down will steam and make these really tender. So we get these all mopped down and close it up for the final, uh, probably only about 30 minutes. At this point, guys, these things are done. So we're going to go and open up our smoker and get them out and let you take a look at them. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to foil tint these and let them sit for a while just to let those temperatures kind of even out and let this rest for just a little bit before we slice into them and give them a try together. Backside feels nice. Gotta keep it sexy. That thing looks absolutely delicious. Huh? Let's flip it over and get it cut. While I was doing a little bit of research on this, I saw my buddy over at the Calorie Backyard Barbecue did this just a few, uh, maybe a month or so ago, and uh, it turned out absolutely amazing. These things look 
so, so good. And I can't wait to say goodbye to them. So let's go ahead and do that now. I just wanna say that smoke ring is impressive. And these are nice and juicy. I don't usually squeeze my meat, but that looks good. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go above the bone. Very juicy, nice and tender, bite through. And man, that flavor, that'll make you wanna slap your mama. Yeah, boy! Hey, mama, what the hell do you want with? <laughs> Let me take another bite. I don't know if you can see how perfect that bite through is, but oh, this is so good, guys. Make sure you give this a try. Foil coating seems to be an absolute wonderful method for brisket, uh, pork butts, and ribs. So make sure you go ahead and give it a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get to a thousand very, very soon. Also, take a look at the cards upstairs, and you can see some of our other rib cooks and other cooks on our Oakley Drum Smokers. Guys, drink more water. I love you.